Two self-described doomsday survivalists avoided prison for their conspiracy to build pipe bombs. Ryan King and Randy Goodman were members of a Franklin militia group preparing for the end of the world. Chief investigative reporter Craig Cheatham was in the courtroom today when U.S. District Judge Susan DeLott sentenced the men. Craig. Kristen, Judge DeLott sentenced King and Goodman to time served for the six months they spent in jail. Federal prosecutors had recommended that they be sentenced to two years in prison. Instead, both men walked out of court with their families. The case against King and Goodman was based largely on secret recordings made by a confidential FBI informant. The informant recorded the men discussing the most lethal ways to use homemade explosives they called crater makers. Federal prosecutors said the explosives were intended to be used against human targets. Jay Clark is Goodman's attorney. These are not people who were, were intending any kind of ill will towards anybody offensively. They didn't have any targets in terms of locations, no targets in terms of people. They were building things to protect themselves and their property. Judge Susan DeLott believed the men got carried away with thoughts about Armageddon and was moved by letters of support from the community and the volunteer work of King and Goodman. So she sentenced them to time served. Hal Ehrenstein, King's attorney, said in their worst case scenario, King and Goodman plan to hunker down at Goodman's 122 acre farm in Brown County. Well, you know, many of us think that that's maybe over preparation. There are those of us who believe that sometime uh, that day is going to come and I want to be prepared for it. During the FBI raids on property owned by King and Goodman, agents discovered semi-automatic guns and approximately a combined total of 13,000 rounds of ammunition. Now both men are prohibited from ever possessing a gun, ammunition, or explosives. Craig Cheatham, not on your side. All right.